Gaza Nation. Hello, dancehall lovers for WBT Empire. I'm Angel, the dancehall explorer. Welcome to this video about Vibes Cartel's appeal trial updates. As we all know, the appeal trials of Adija Palmer, Sean Campbell, Kahira Jones, and Andre St. John started this Monday, the 9th of July. We want to give you a little recap of what has happened so far. In 2014, the four men were convicted of the August 2011 murder of Clive Lizard Williams, which led to life sentences for all four men, with Kahira Jones and Sean Campbell being eligible for parole consideration after 25 years, Andre St. John being eligible for parole consideration after 30 years, and Adija Palmer being eligible for parole consideration after serving 35 years. These are said to be excessive sentences, and the aim of this appeal trial is to overturn those convictions. On Monday, the Court of Appeal began hearing their case, and it was scheduled to be given three weeks. However, the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Dennis Morrison, who is presiding over the case, changed this and ruled that the hearing is now set for one week. He announced that each appellant has up to one day to make the points they wish to make. To prepare for these one-day presentations, the lawyers have now been given one week to prepare accordingly. Therefore, the appeal has been adjourned and will continue on Monday, the 16th of July. Now, I personally could not find any relevant arguments as to why the Court of Appeal would do something like that, seeing as how it could severely interfere with the planning of the legal teams. Sean Campbell's attorney, Bert Samuels, and his legal team even compiled a written submission of 140 pages, which indicates to me that there are many arguments to be taken into consideration, and one day does not seem like sufficient time. It could be speculated that this is a way to subdue the attention that could very well be brought to the large number of errors previously made in this case on the side of those who are meant to enforce the law. For example, the allowing of contaminated cell phone evidence, pointing to the cell phones not being held in secure locations and even being used while in police custody. Or also Sean Campbell not being allowed to be present when key material evidence crucial to the case was being presented. Conclusively, what came out of this first hearing is that the Court of Appeal judges overseeing the case have sided with the defense team and ruled to allow the hearing of the new evidence. That evidence brought by the lawyers include an affidavit given by attorney at law Kimberly Whitaker, which includes the statements of two jurors who served in a 2014 murder trial. Those two juror statements are part of a case that cops are building against another juror who in the 2014 murder trial allegedly tried to bribe other members of the jury, including the four women, in an effort to have them return a not guilty verdict. The evidence also includes an affidavit by Sean Campbell about his being excluded from discussions in the judges' chambers. We're sure that the legal teams of all four men are working diligently to ensure the best representation for their clients and we are eagerly waiting to see the results of those efforts at the continuation of this case coming Monday. That's all we have for you now. Subscribe here if you want to stay updated on the Vibes Cartel Peel Trial and other news. We'll be back with more. For WBT Empire, I'm Angel, the Dance Hall Explorer. Gaza.